Hey, it's Connor. God, this game looks so good. Find Amanda. Hey, Amanda, how you doing? Hello, Amanda. Let me get trusted go down real quick. Connor. It's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Yeah, the music's Finding not making me feel very safe right easy. now. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. Thank you. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. I know. Thank you, Amanda. Yeah. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. Ah, not really. What did you think of the deviant? Just needed to yell 28 stab wounds at it and it was easy. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. Mm -hmm. This Accurate Lieutenant assessment. Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. Sweet. What do you make of him? He's amazing. Best detective ever. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you mean, unfortunately? What do That's you think fortunate. is the best approach? I will focus on the investigation and try to ignore it. <laughs> That's a lie. As long as he doesn't interfere and we avoid conflict, he shouldn't be a problem. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. I know, I'm amazing. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Yeah, I have Hank at warm right now. Can I help you? I'm gonna make him my best friend Lieutenant by the Anderson. Anders today. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Just Anderson hasn't arrived yet, inside. but you can wait at his desk. I'm gonna snoop around hard. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. Leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Racism? Nice, 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 nice. Dang it. It's good to see you again, more. Lieutenant. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. Hank! In my office! I'll see, I'm gonna ignore this and go snoop. That guy looks a little bit shifty. What? Oh, that's a lot of blood. What are you looking at? Hey, fuck you! <laughs> It's probable. They have to analyze your bio components. They need to understand what happened. What happened to the he's alive, Connor? God. I need to know before they take you away. The statuette. There the sculpture you, go. you made. Tell me more about it. Please. I'm going to die. Yeah, yeah. We 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 know this information. Can you tell us what I'm asking, please? Please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You're not very helpful today. 
That's okay, buddy. I understand. Oh. Open the cell, quick. Hurry. Oh, he's dead. Uh, I'm just gonna. Fuck! Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Thank you. Um, I wish I could say the same, but you know, you're bad at your job. Never seen Android like you before. Mother. It says right on my shirt, you freaking idiot. RK800. It says right I'm a there. Prototype. A prototype. Ah, yeah. Android detective. So machines are gonna replace us all. Yeah, exactly. Is that it? Hmm. Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on. I gave you an order. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he acting like that? If Hank hadn't gone the way yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. Stay out of my way. Because next time, you won't get off so easy. I want to shoot him. You're dog. the dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair is on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? He's a dog a lot in that sense. I don't know why. Sumo. Bothers me. I call him Sumo. Yeah. That's Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. <laughs> He's like, stop making me like... Known power. Captain Fowler for long. Yeah, too long. Uh, You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna not talk anymore. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. No, that the little girl did it. <laughs> One tap. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant. But I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> I love Hank. Probably my favorite character, honestly. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. That was a lot more aggressive than I was hoping. I kind of deserve that. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last night. Nice. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. She's distant because I stole some cash. I not no, I didn't steal cash. I stole some clothing for us, so she's distant. It's like if I did anything else, it would have required more crime, so I couldn't get into the uh, into anything but the car. She's just so whiny. God, horrible child. <laughs> like one would think that after saving you from your abusive father, you'd be a little more, you know. Loving towards me? 
and not immediately go, oh hey, yeah, you did one thing I didn't like, I have to hate you now. It's like, what? Kappa. I wish you got a choice for what style she got. Kinda like that. I'm gonna do that. Why is my button? There we go. Button isn't working. You should do that a lot quicker than Marcus did. <laughs> Oh, damn, there's a dead body. There you go. Come on. Alice. No, you really are a murderer and no, you shot a man Do the heart. The that android we saw day. yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. Like a human now. Okay. Is it them? It's Carter. The android said my cyber life. Alright. That's all for now. Ready to go. Got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> I have no idea. I love how I have Hank higher up in the uh, caring the first department that came along <laughs> than uh, and stayed Alice. at the end of the line. <laughs> its decision wasn't planned, it was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. How human of them. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Please hide, Carl. I'm Morris. There we go. You don't see me. You do not see me. That that was too close. I hate it. I don't like that. One. Almost there. I hope. Reported 
What? I thought. I thought I just clicked it. I hate this game. <laughs> we saw them headed for the train station. Run. You know what? I want you to run. I want you to lose them. It's so dumb that you have to hold the button. I thought that I just clicked it. I, I held the other one up and then I thought that you clicked that one to pop open the They're over there! Around. Okay, I need to not. Don't shoot! We need it alive. Thank you, Connor. Why are they not covered in mud? All I want to know. Okay, it's time to die. Oh fuck! That's insane. Oh god! I hit the wrong button. Stay here for a while. Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. They won't. It's again. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't well, take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an okay. order. Okay. Okay. Please don't die. 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 No, I thought that, I thought that I just didn't do for getting over the thing. I thought that I just smashed X to get over the thing. I didn't know it was for the entire duration. That was overly stressful and I did not enjoy it. <laughs> Connor's a little upset now. Good. Several sources report yep, here we that go. CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have been tested for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role. That was easy. They missed. Should there some change? Try to get closer. There we go. One eternity later. Skybox is incredible. I get to the shop with thumbnail.
This doesn't seem safe. It didn't seem like it was very safe. And I lost my cool jacket. Like, what was the point of this? That was just upsetting. Yeah, accidentally hit right too. Okay, that sucks. Flashlight? Nice. I don't know why, but uh, shaking a shake, um, a shake to activate flashlight doesn't seem very uh, good to me. It's like, what if the motion sensor thing just breaks, like inside of it? It's not gonna work well. Or what if it's just too sensitive? Then you're just gonna be like, oh, I picked it up and activated it and just blinded myself. Or like, is there anything else in here? Oh, I didn't go straight to the store. So why not? Your doors. I'm gonna go straight this way. I'm ignoring all the doors. That was terrifying. Yeah, screw exploration. I'm going straight to the end. I'm just gonna follow the uh, um, terrifying girl that I just sprinted past for no apparent reason. Yeah, why did she just run past? Like, there was, like, what, was she scared that she thought Mark was a demon or something? And, like, oh, hey, yeah, we got discovered. Gotta go warn everybody. I, <laughs> I just don't understand it. Yeah, this feels safe. Ow. No, oh god. Oh! Everything is broken. You need to go replace everything. Ow, my back. <laughs> Imagine not popping your LED off though first. <laughs> Cringe. Welcome to Jericho. Yeah, back with my boys, the protective squad. Remember, look both ways before crossing the street, guys. Plastic with you? It's not temporary, though, Hank. We're gonna be together forever. Last shit hot tip you gave me, sent me back a week's wages, pay. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. This guy is definitely a criminal, and so is everybody else here, honestly. Gambling and fraud. Eh, not that bad. Could be worse. Not, not as bad as like literally everybody in the bar that um, Hank was in. I don't know if you should be in here. Resisting arrest, breach of height. Yeah, I would not eat here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nothing. Clean top. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. Is your problem. He's like, hey, how you doing? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <sighs> I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. 
You've even got a brown nose and apology. Bro. Yes, we're friends. Is it cyber life Mission accomplished. Huh? I can die happy now. There you go. The pineapple passion. Nice. An extra large one too. And what's in this hand? 100, wow, 1,680, 1,000 calories. What else is cake? Damn, that's a lot of calories. I'm confused. Why is it cake? I'm stupid. Anyway, whatever. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, very healthy. <laughs> I'll leave that thing here. Uh, not a chance. This is like one of those American Oh, okay, hold on. That's an extra large? What the hell? It's like the size, it's like a standard size one. What the hell? This is America. Everything's super sized. What's happening? Wait, in 2038, did everybody get their, did everybody get, you know, I don't their want health to control me. or something? By 2038, that doesn't sound realistic for America. Well, everybody does what they Maybe have Detroit's to get by. Just different. As long as they're not hurting know. anybody, I don't bother them. Fair enough. Cholesterol. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's got to die of something. Um. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. And I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Damn. <laughs> Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. He got killed badly. Guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. Way to go, Hank. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. Not as good, good for you, so Hank. So what's but your conclusion? Whatever. Or ignore that one. <laughs> I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Guy just walks so stiff. <laughs> Can you imagine having to walk around all day like that? Like, God, that'd be hey, horrible. Man. You run out of batteries or what? Like his back doesn't sorry. bend at all to slouch for like a, a second. Gotta <laughs> uh. well, slouch like at least once when you're walking. <laughs> no, I'm coming. It'll leave a little bit of the tension. <laughs> hey, what do we know about this guy? 
everything. Not much. Never mind. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED oh, under his that? cap. What was that? Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange... Feathers. Of the pigeon variety. Pigeon noise. The rock pigeon. We're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? No, I was taking a nap. Correct. In the hole. You're in first grade. Just real quickly. There's one more thing I'm going to check out. Birdseed. I can't believe it. That sponge job was actually feeding. Rupert, hey. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. <laughs> the driver's license is fake. Are you proud of me, Hank? Oh, that was a little pain. Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Oh, you chase it. Get over here! Obviously, I'm going faster, is he? Always faster, is he? Come on now. Fast motor ski! Wilson! That way. And why would I even bother third one? Nice and slower. We in there. Obviously faster is he come on now. Yeet. I admit, I yeah. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! That was just terrifying, man. <laughs> God, that was terrifying. <laughs> I almost got chopped into 20 million pieces. Rupert! Get back here, Rupert. Get out of my Get back here, Rupert. That was a little rude, just trust me. You got him, Hank! Um... Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, petro, tiger, bad, bro. You made me choose between you and Hank. You did everything wrong. Model eight seven four zero zero four nine six one. Serious Connor. malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class four errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. 
You bastard! Ow. You saw I was gonna fall, and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. How do you I had to make a choice. Like that. It seemed to me. What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? I'm sorry. Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Understandable. Have a nice day. Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up. You're helping humans. But you're just their slave. I said shut up. All right. Come along. All kinds of dead. This is very threatening, actually. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Then you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. Oh, he was very dead. You literally just showed me this. You don't need to show it again. Okay. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? <laughs> Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe Or, you know, like just us. take off your LEDs and chill. If humans knew we were here, <laughs> they'd kill us. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Oof. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. Take off your LEDs. I understand how you feel, <laughs> but we have more freedom here than you ever did. I don't know about that one, man, like... Humans were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. You're no freer than you ever were. You've only found a new master. You're lost. No, 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 actually, Just like the I'm, rest of us. I'm the only one we didn't that, ask that for this. is not lost. Y'all are All dumb. we can do now I'm is deal with it. <laughs> You're safe here. Am I though? Stay with us as long it as doesn't look very safe here. Like I, I literally just fell 300 feet <laughs> to get in here. Easy. Then another like 50, breaking some components probably. It's like, I d yeah. See, I broke some comp components getting here. Obviously, I'm not safe here. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? Nobody no. does. So, yeah, no. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. Damn, that's dark as hell. <laughs> What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. That's just terrifying. <laughs> I'm about to, I'm just gonna go by uh not in very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. Ugh. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. I hate people. No, I, I don't want to shut down. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When Very I escaped, specific. there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. 
Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. <laughs> yeah, Can't it is. just go shopping at a cyber life store. <laughs> and then break and enter. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. <laughs> Wuss. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. We'll never accept what we are. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. You're not a very positive person, are you? They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They don't. That's, that's they won't. Yeah. That's why we steal it, down. guys. Theft is always the right answer. What's good? Are you Lucy? God, Sit down. Horrifying. I don't want to sit down. I want to stand up. Show me. See, I wouldn't have gotten I'll this if I didn't come to Jericho. Just saying. Drink this. Sweet Powerade. This was an odd experience. Give me your hand. You had it all. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. Mm -hmm. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? That sounds like some foreshadowing. Your choice or uh, some sort of imagery at least. graffiti all over herself and you know also the more pressing matter the back of her head is completely gone um. Simon hi I know where we can find spare parts I'm Marcus the Android sent by Lucy Detroit Harbor they have everything we need the docks are guarded we can't just walk in there and take what we want humans will never let us which is why we won't ask permission Oh, have any weapons. And even Don't we go we did, ninja mode, man? Fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe it's worth a try. Thank you. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. 